Guys, welcome back to That Motor Show. Aldo, we are here at Queensland Raceway once again for the King of QR. Now, t today the King of QR is a time attack event. So, <laughs> plenty of fast cars out there. These things are just going like full ham. Uh, we've got a die cast and drift car show down there, and there's even a motorbike stunt show going on. So, plenty to see, plenty to do here at Queensland Raceway. So, as in normal fashion, let's do it. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Closed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Aldo from that motor show. We're here at the King of QR, and I'm here with Sean and his uh, amazing little Nissan Micra. Yeah, little red Micra. Anyone that knows me knows I love a Nissan Micra. So this is when I've seen it, man. I was just overwhelmed with how cool this actually is. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have found a Nissan. Mi I love Nissan Micras, man. <laughs> yeah. How cool is this? Yes, a lot so of time. Give us a quick, oh, quick, a quick an over run now. All right, so essentially 95 Nissan Micra. Um, not much has actually changed. Only no. like cosmetically, I put flares on it, a little wing on the rear, and a uh, front splitter made out of ply. So nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing flashy. Um, <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does have uh, some Sydney composite uh, tunnels, carbon tunnels in it, but otherwise, it's yeah. Just very basic. More or less a Nissan Micra. Yep, oh, some would say, yeah. Um, and then engine wise. The hood abruptly closed on us. Yes, there's. So we have our Neo yeah, VVL. Nissan SR20 VVL. Um, built VVL as well, because we had it not built and yep. then we blew the motor up. So here we are. Um, yeah. Six speed. Six speed. Uh, from a Primera, no, oh, yeah. not, not a sequential, it's still H-Pattern. H-Pattern, wow. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, it is, it's it's something different. Uh, I don't even know the size of the turbo, I've been asked that That's a big a turbo, times. actually. It's, uh, I know it's bigger than a 35, GDX 35. I was gonna say, it looks equivalent to like a Falcon turbo. Yeah, yeah, um, it, I think it's an upgrade for a Falcon. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely wow. huge. <laughs> Um, That's awesome. Yeah, and then otherwise it's just a, a it is a micro. Yeah. Like the everything so else is pretty basic. Standard micro clips. Missing clips, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Headlights are all held in with zip ties. I uh, standard. I had the same thing on my first car was a K11 Micra. Yeah. And this is all... This is all they are. Like, that's... Yeah, they just hang on for dear life. And then, oh, yeah, then obviously the VVL. So, who put the engine in there? So, this is all done by me. Okay. Um, 
just done on a weekend or an afternoon whenever I get the chance and yeah just tinker around find the problems fix the problems so standard sort of car sort of car stuff. stuff yeah Always. and it's just yeah and just lots of endless money like <laughs> it was very very cheap I actually did an interview with Larry Chen last year oh. at World Time Attack. Oh, awesome. And this was a very cheap build. Was. Uh, it's no longer, I wouldn't <laughs> say, as cheap as it was, just because we had to build the motor. Yep. Because it blew up. But otherwise, it was around that, you know, $15,000 Australian to build this to where it was, because the car was 500 bucks. The engine was, like, secondhand from New Zealand. The gearbox was secondhand from New Zealand. But... We actually had to spend money, sadly, on the gear, on the engine, um, because it got to the point where it just wouldn't hold the power and it was it was breaking down. So, well, the faster you want to go, the the, the better the engine's gonna be. Yeah, it has to be. Right. Yeah, especially um, at this sort of level. Yeah. Time attack. And today is only a shakedown. Like I wasn't coming out here to try and win. Uh, the car is racing at World Time Attack this year. Oh, awesome! Awesome. Definitely way out of my league here. Like I'm in. This is, we've got to come back to reality. This is a Nissan Micra. I know hey. it's not going to win, but to have the opportunity to race there, it's like, it's a bucket list for anyone that's a racer. So I was like, let's get out there. Let's have some fun. You're in front of the world stage. Yeah. In a Nissan Micra. In a Nissan Micra. Probably, <laughs> if you told me, you know, a few years back this would be happening, I'd be like, you're on drugs, but. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. What sort of horsepower? Uh, Today is 360, which is the lowest power it can make. It's just wastegate. Um, and then it goes up in increments of about 75 horsepower. So there's wow. five settings. And yeah, it's tops like 560. 560 and 560 new meters of torque. Wow. Yeah, so 500 horsepower. It's dumb. I haven't pressed the button yet. I'm like too scared to press high boost. But yeah. I can um, I can even send you the the dyno sheet after the video. So that would be pretty see, cool. Yeah. And I, I can send you the dyno video. But um, yeah, it made five. Uh, I think it's I think it's five fifty. Yeah, it's five fifty. And then actually, it's five fifty five fifty newton meters at all. Exact same. Five fifty five fifty. Yeah, that's what it is. Straight five fifty. <laughs> Going through two little two two five forty five tires. Yeah, man. Incredible. And what's your fastest time around QR so far? Well, this isn't my home track. I'm normally lakeside. I'm going to okay. throw this down before it slams. Yeah, you know. Um, so it, it can vary. Um, I have done a 57 out here on, I think it's the sprint. But um, yeah, I can't, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you. I'd have to find out. There's too many tracks here. Lakeside, I just know there's one track. And uh, Lakeside fastest was uh, 50, 59.2 or something like that. Wow. So That's moving. It's moving, and that was old setup. That wasn't this. So it could be quicker. This Who is knows? this. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is, mate. It is what it is. Thank you so Take much. Care. Done deal. Look after yourself, mate. Always, always. How good is this, guys? K11, Nissan Micra. Done deal. King and QR. Yeah. Charles Aldo.
Nice to meet you, Aldo. Pleasure. Nice so, we're going on that motor show. We're here at the King of QR mm -hmm. with this amazing S15 Sylvia here. Well, yeah. what's left of an S15 anyway? That's right, yes. It's uh, certainly certainly not too many uh, of the original components on the car anymore. No. Uh, so, if you don't mind, give us a rundown about the car and its history and how it's how it's ended up here today. Yep. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Yates Auto Electrical. Reese Yates himself actually wired this whole S15. So go click the description below and check him out. Um, well, it's a open class S15 Sylvia. Uh, we started building it back in 2016, I think. Yeah. Um, so it's been a bit of a passion project, I suppose you could say. It's, it's sort of had a few different uh, iterations and uh, you know, but we've always stayed, you know, fairly consistent with the look at, look of the car. Um, yeah, uh, it's basic. It's simple. Yeah, simple and very racy. Um, so yeah, we've been competing in Time Attack down at uh, World Time Attack Challenge each year, and uh, you know, always trying to compete and do well. There's uh, some yeah. very quick cars out there yeah, time and time there again. Are, it's it's such a difficult thing to get right, and anybody who's doing it will will agree. Oh um, yeah. So much has got to go right, and so many things can go wrong. Correct. So. And every year there's a new component that yeah. just makes it a little bit better, and there's yeah. always just that little yes. white mill of a second that just makes it just a little bit better. That's it. Yep, that's right. So now we're here at King of QR to test the car for Time Attack in August. Okay. Um, and uh, everything's going really well today. Mechanically, it's been uh, really reliable. Um, we're smashing all of our PBs and you know we're I think we're on leading the King of QR event for the weekend. So oh, that's, that's that's what you want. That's hey? exciting, yeah. So we're really optimistic about what's where the car's at and we look forward to competing, yeah. Awesome. And so what's the time it's run uh, out at King of QR? Um, I think we've done a minute nine on national. Wow. <laughs> um, somewhere around there. I'm a bit, I'm a bit rusty with the times, but um, nah. Bus. It's it's quick, yeah. Bus. And, uh, a minute we, nine around the yeah, national circuit. Yeah. That's quick. That's moving. It's, it's moving, yeah. So we've got some nice uh, 2020, 2019 era tyres on here too, and just gradually bringing the power up. So we're, we're looking to do a fast time on the sprint sprint layout, which is the last layout. We've got some fresh tyres there, and we'll ready to go. Put a bit of boost into it and see what it does. So um, fresh tyres, bit of boost, yeah, some aero. It's looking very good. So no, but reliability's always been the thing that's plagued us in the past, and uh, you know we've got the reliability now. So the times are starting to fall, which is what we expect. Well, when, you, when you're pushing things that sort of limit with time attack, um, yeah. Yeah, reliability is so so important. It sure is. Yeah. So I've seen. I've seen. I've. I've seen it on social media floating around with yep. the JH racing engine yep. Um, yep. and obviously Yates Auto Electrical there. Yep. So I've seen it floating around. Yeah, there's been a lot of good people involved and yeah, you know, you bringing, in, bringing in JHH to do the engine. The engine package has been crucial for the reliability. Um, you know, we've gone to a, a shimless, uh, shimless head in the, in the valve train there and you know, that was always a problem we had, is uh, yeah, always yeah. popping shims out on the shift cuts. So we just got rid of that issue and yeah, no issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're good to go. There's no shims there, you can't, you can't lose them. You can't them, lose them in the, <laughs> in the rocker cover, yeah. So no, it's, it's just having the right people around you and that, um, you know, establishing a good good quality team is very important for success. Yeah, you're so. looking at all these guys in the back. Yeah, yeah they're all on autopilot. So. They're all doing what they got to do and yeah. they're getting it done. That's how we have this time here now to have a chat. Exactly. <laughs> the boys, all they, they've all got a job to do oh. and it just happens. So yeah, very, uh, it takes the pressure off a lot. Yep. It would. And how, how long have you been in the time attack game for? Um, oh, well, yeah, I mean, started building the car in like 2016, like I said. and. Yeah. Um, I was initially, you know, doing the Flying 500 down in Sydney. Oh, awesome! And I saw some of those fast cars, and I just went, "Oh, this is what I want to do." So we've been full, full on into this S15 ever since, and turning you know, circles rather than going straight. Yeah, yeah, turning circles. Yeah, so it's we've got we've got a hopefully a very optimistic outlook, and we can't wait for the big event. Yeah, the World yeah. Time Attack. That's that's going to be massive. I'll be there. Yeah, Let's cool. Come check it out. Beautiful. Yeah, that's um, right. What sort of time has it run at Sydney so far? Uh, a minute twenty-eight. A minute um, twenty-eight. A minute twenty-eight point seven, which was a PB for us last year. Um, so we're looking to really, really we'll push it from hammer that down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And where did that place you? 
Um, fourth in the end, yeah. Fourth, we, well that's, that's not bad, like, yeah. considering everyone's coming across the, the globe. Correct, yeah, there's a lot of competition, some really fast cars and, you know, it's it's certainly not easy, you know, it's no. it's a yeah. very difficult thing to get right. To come fourth, that, that's, that's not even, that's yeah. not even a, a small, uh, how do you put it, like placement, like that's still no, massive. No, no, well, yeah, it was, it was good and we, it was pretty minimal effort last year and to get the fourth place was good. It gave us a lot of hope for this year. Oh, definitely, and, uh, definitely. It's, definitely. It's lo it looks yeah. apart. I always yeah. say, like, yeah. if a race car looks apart, yep. it's, go it's definitely going to go in the park. Well, yeah, if it goes as uh, as fast as how good it looks, we're going to be going pretty good. <laughs> nah. I, I think. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see it out there. No worries. Yeah, uh, thank you. What's huh? all happening? Charles, I'll let you go from here. Yeah, let yeah, these guys busy. get this car out. Yep. Thanks and, for the uh, time. No, thank no you once again. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. Guys. That motor show, Kink You Are, Charles, the S15. It doesn't get better than that, hey. Very good. Done deal. <laughs> now, sit back and just admire this beautiful S15 Sylvia. Unfortunately, I can't be everywhere at once, covering all the on-track action, but I do hope that you have enjoyed today's video, my coverage of the King of QR. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. If you haven't yet, make sure you press the like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. It really helps out, guys. Auto, that motor show, signing out. Ha, ha, ha.